Hello, this is Deborah Parmley, and I'm coming to you from our motorhome where I live full time. And uh, I'm a, an author and a full time RV, and I'm messy here, full time RV living with my husband. Um, and we used to both work camp, and I uh, do not work camp now because I had a stroke back in uh, late June, early July. And uh, so I currently have a blood clot in my brain, and I use a walker and can't drive and all that jazz. But anyhow, so my husband took a solo work camp job this time, and um, we are at Indian Cove RV Resort in... Virginia Beach, Virginia, which is going to be a beautiful spot. Well, interesting weather here. Let's see now. I need to uh, switch this around so you can see what I can see out the front of the RV. Let me start over here. Let's see. Okay, so there we go. So you would think this water in front of our RV is uh, from rain and well, yes and no we got rain but what we have through here are canals and these canals when they are full the water comes over the banks of course comes over the top and um, let's see if I can get a little closer um, anyway when it does that the water comes this way uh, into the RV park so if you can see the water moving that's the wind the wind has pushed this water from if you can see wooden fences out there wooden fences that's the canal over there and it's come up over the banks and the water is blown in here um, so this actually didn't fill up because of rain it filled up because of the canals overflowing. So this is uh, just a little glimpse of, there's not much they can do about it really. Um, let's see what you can see. Hopefully that's our track. And you can see the water moving. So let me switch this back around. Hopefully that doesn't make you too dizzy. <laughs> I'm the dizzy one. <laughs> um, what else we got going on here? So we also have um, uh, our our um, we had we replaced our washing machine this year already because uh, the other one conked out on us. And um, so the next project is. Replacing the combination microwave convection oven, which went bad, uh, so that came out. And um, anyway, that's it's arrived. That would be my husband's next project. So there's a little bit of slice of life <laughs> coming from me here in the motorhome, and um, I won't go outside in this because going outside in this with a walker would not be the smartest. Thing in the world to do but anyway this is my view today uh, I have my edits back from vague directions the proof edits and uh, she does a great job Melissa does a great job and uh, I'll put her link below in case you're looking for proofreading she's also my virtual assistant and I could not do without her I'll tell you what especially when I was in the hospital um, last year for 18 days and in ICU and crazy stuff was going on. So uh, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be out. The sun is shining, even though we've got some water issues going on. And it's not like I need to go anywhere. So <laughs> I'll just sit in here and, and slowly work on my edits for Vague Directions. The title is now Vague Directions Into the Woods. That will be the novella. Uh, and the other one will be the short story, which is out there and uh, will eventually be free on my website and following my newsletter, you'll get it. So um, that's all for today. This is Thursday, uh, April the 11th, and uh, it is a beautiful day. I'm wishing you a beautiful day. 
and reminding you that every day is a beautiful day to be alive. And now I have to get back to work on my edits.